RPS is looking to make changes to the admissions process for selective schools. We have the option school leaders are set to discuss and how you can voice your thoughts. Plus, a Virginia woman's facing charges after a baby and a dog die in a hot car. The two different stories she's telling police about what happened. And Hampton University is getting a visit from the vice president. The importance behind the trip. Fox Richmond Morning News starts right now. All right, a good Thursday morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us here on Fox Richmond Morning News. I'm Ashley Hendricks. I'm Sarah Bloom. Good to see you here to start the day. Candace, we like to check the roads. They start to get busy around now. How are we doing? Hey, yeah, they're definitely busy uh, along 95 and 64. So I'll break down what you need to know after you, Andrew. All right, good morning. We're in the mid 60s. We've had numbers in the mid 60s over the past, you know, a few weeks, a few times. But a northerly breeze in a low level of humidity. The dew point temperature is down at 60 degrees. So with a drier batch of air coming in, that 65 feels a little bit cooler than recent overnight lows in the 65. And we almost did it. Almost dipped into the 50s in Farmville at 61. You're going to do it tomorrow morning. In fact, Farmville may go into the upper 40s for a few hours. New at West Point's in the mid-60s, Tappahannock is as well. So a drier batch of air coming in with light northerly breezes. It's actually calm near the bay. Norfolk's starting breezy, 15-mile-an-hour winds, and the breeziness is going to pick up and continue all the way through early Sunday. So low humidity air finally here, sunny with a cool northerly breeze as we climb into the low 80s. The rain chance sneaks in for late Sunday. Today's high temperature in the low 80s. Lots of sunshine. Candace. All right, taking a look at the roads this morning here, we are seeing some delays as we travel along 95 northbound. We've got some activity here on the shoulder near the Chamberlain exit at 76. There's two Chamberlain exits. This is the one that's closer towards the Richmond area. So try to get over to the left or center uh, of the highway if you can. As you take that ramp, that's not too bad this morning for you. Shaco Valley Bridge, we will see some delays as we merge from 64 to 95. And then 95 near the Arthur Ashe Boulevard exit, we're starting to pick up some volume as we head towards Belvedere. So those are the areas that we're watching this morning. Leaving the east end, not too bad as you travel along at 9 Mile, uh, Airport Drive, even Route 60 looks good. 64, we won't see those delays until we get to the Shaco Valley Bridge. Sarah, Ashley. All right, Candace, we'll check back in. Thank you. Thank you. Richmond Public Schools is trying to increase the number of economically disadvantaged students attending specialty schools, specifically Maggie Walker, Co Richmond Community High, and Open High School. And to do that, the school board's considering changing how the admission process works for its students. So Emily Inger has some of those options being considered and how you can have a say in what happens.